This is a currywurst or curried sausage. It's the food Berliners are most proud of and I guess I'm a little proud of it too, but I'm not sure we should be because all it really is is cheap sausage drowned in ketchup with a little curry powder on top. It's not really food, it's more a series of bad decisions that an eight-year-old would make. The street is pretty loud. Whoa! It was supposedly invented by Hertha, oh, what's her name? By Hertha Heuver here in Berlin. But a lot of other cities claim it as their own. Hamburg says they invented it. There's even some royalty over near the Rhine River that claimed that they invented it in 1929 or something like that. To tell you the truth, I believe them all. Because if you just put a bunch of monkeys in the kitchen, they'd come up with this on their own after a while too. Germans are proud of like the currywurst as like a snack food, whereas we're proud of the schnitzel as like a food food, like a restaurant food. The important thing when you get a currywurst is to get one with fries, because there's usually too much ketchup. Uh, can we buy this curry powder please? The other important thing about ordering a currywurst, if you do it at a real currywurst stand, is they're gonna ask you if you want it with Dom or on a Dom. Dom means intestine. A real Berliner would get it with intestine. People with weak stomachs would get it without intestine. I usually get it with intestine now because how much of are actually real intestines anymore? It's usually just plastic coating. And even if it is a real intestine, you're eating an animal. What's grosser than that? How's the sausage? Oh. This is actually an organic currywurst because I don't really like to eat meat. But when I do, I like to think that the animals died of cuddling. You can get it here on Greifswalder Straße in Prenzlauer Berg, right next to a place that sells organic dinner kebabs. That's another story. I think that's the one food I miss being vegetarian, is currywurst. There isn't just one currywurst Buddha or sausage stand that makes the best and eponymous currywurst. They're actually all over the place. Probably the best ones are the ones that look like they're about one spark away from a fatal grease fire. But if you had to ask me, I'd recommend. Probably the most famous place for currywurst now in Berlin is this place, Knöpfersimbis, in the former East German neighborhood of Penzlauer Berg. It used to be kind of a rundown place full of artists and philosophers. Now it's a genteel, expensive neighborhood full of doctors, professors, and comedians. Because it's been here since 1930, which means it actually predates the currywurst and has been in three different countries without even moving. I mean, if it's been there since 1930, you think like Adolf Hitler ate there? Or Eric Honecker? Probably. Even Helmut Kohl. Because Helmut Kohl ate everything. Maybe Crossroads. It was one of the most popular places in West Berlin back when this was West Berlin. The French fries are kind of expensive. It's just two euros. Said 180. Yeah, you, you have to pay 20 cents for the sauce. What? Next time I'm gonna bring my own ketchup. Yeah, go. Or the Bratpfanne, which means frying pan in German. It's been here since 1949, which incidentally is the same year Hertha Heuver invented the Currywurst. Mm -hmm. They're both in a neighborhood of Berlin called Steglitz, which tourists never come to because nothing ever happens here. But it's actually too bad that tourists never come here because they have this. It's called the beer paintbrush, and it's empty. Or maybe this place on Wittenbergplatz. Berliners eat so many currywurst, it probably adds about 10% to the city's healthcare bill every year. Each one of these tastes like a silent heart attack. Is it still running? Yeah. See, every bite you take, 